So, hey there ladies. Um, this is a video that I'm making in regards to um, the wig that I had made on the sewing machine. I've been getting a lot of questions asked about this particular method of making wigs. So this is a wig that I had. This wig is about a year old and I made this wig on the sewing machine as well. Um, so this is what the wig looks like. It's been in a bin um, so it hasn't it's dry because it hasn't been worn in a while or washed or anything like that. Um, it is made with a closure so I'm going to show you quickly what this wig looks like. So what it is that's going on here just to show you quickly is just to show you this wig good focus there there we go I was trying to focus <laughs> this wig has been made there you go um, on the sewing machine if you could see the stitching um, the closure was attached with a smaller stitch around here to make it last like if I really wanted to it would take me a day to unloose this stitch from this cap so what it is show you quickly show you what it looks like from inside so this was a dome cap okay um, this was the top of the dome cap but the dome cap was actually way too big so what I did was I just stitched it um, to take out some of the spacing in it these are the stitches this was like one of my first no, this was like my second wig that I made, so I was still learning the process of how to actually sew on the sewing machine. So, as you can see, it's not as neat, it's a little bit more spaced out, um, but, you know, no one's really seeing that, but it is pretty neat underneath, right, and it's very durable. So, there are the stitches. I use a zigzag stitching, and, um... I'm not really familiar with sewing terms, so I couldn't really tell you, you know, I know that the spacing I did was really small. I could have opted for a larger spacing, but <clears throat> like I said, trial and error, this was like one of the first. The, the wig is durable, like I have combed it, and you know, another good thing about it is that it reinforces the wefts, so I don't experience shedding at all with this wig, um, because it's sewn the weft together. It's just, it's you know, I prefer this method. I'm going to flip it around and show you where the closure part is. Um, so I also attach the closure um, from the sewing machine. And it's not going anywhere. It's not coming off. Like I would have to get a steam ripper and sit here for like two days or a day and probably, you know, detach this wig. So I did attach the closure and then I cut around um, so that it was open so you wouldn't see like blue underneath it and there you go now keep in mind again this was one of the very first or the second wigs that I made on the sewing machine so it doesn't really look consistent I do have other ones that look really consistent um, that I will show you Let's see 